you mean it sucks? This pepper beef is too damn spicy! What are you talking about? This is good. How's it going guys? Pepper Beef to Spicy. Hope you guys are doing alright. Today we're going to be looking at an interview that uh, Mr. Katsuhiro Harada had with Famitsu, the gaming journalist website, concerning Tekken 7, and this came out a little bit just after San Diego Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con rather, uh, where the full-length trailer was released. And this interview in particular has a lot of important information to Tekken 7 um, that I'd like to discuss with you guys. Most of the interview is kind of very uh, basic, but there are a few, a uh, couple parts of the interview that are really uh, interesting. First is that it is the 20th anniversary of Tekken, which means they're going to put a lot of effort into this game. I mean, of course, it's, you know, the main game, so they're obviously going to put a lot of effort. But uh, with my understanding, through the interview, you can see that her this Tekken 7 in specifically means a lot to the cast. It's going to be what Tekken 3 was to the Tekken verse as, you know, essentially the new gen version of Tekken 3 in its, um, in its sense as a really highly influential big game in the series, in my opinion. Um, and anyways, first is that Harada is focusing on storyline specifically. At least he was, he's saying that this time around, Namco is going to focus on story and wrapping up the Mishima storyline. Now, I'm pretty sure this is already pretty obvious, judging by this the trailer and the things that Harada said so far, is that this Tekken 7 is going to focus mostly on really wrapping up the fighting game, I mean the Tekken story, mostly for the Mishima story, although, sorry about that, <coughs> okay, although that, you know, there are a lot of other characters whose stories have not exactly gone anywhere, so we might see a little bit more rap making more characters have serious storylines since Tekken 7 is seeming to not be a light game like at least I think Tekken 5 was kind of like a light game in terms of storyline. Um, so we're gonna see more seriousness. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna be more seriousness, more like deepness with the Mishima storyline since it's obviously concluding. But I don't know how that's gonna affect the other character storylines. It's possible they may be more serious as well. I hope so. Because as much as joke endings are cool, I would like them to take more characters who may have been thinking, you know, who may have been taken as joke characters, maybe like Paul, or the bears, or the animals like Roger and Alex, etc. I would like to see them more taken seriously, just for the sake of being taken seriously. Or if they're gonna make them funny, they should at least make them really, really funny in their in that sense. Um, also, let's note is that one of the most important things that Harada talked about here is that Harada talks about how Tekken 7, I mean Tekken Tag 2, was kind of a letdown for having an, a larger audience. Now, if you know anything about the fighting game community, you'd know that Tekken Tag 2 is one of the least popular fighting games that in the in the arsenal of, uh, in the gallery rather, or in the gallery of available and, and current fighting games. Thing is, is that even though Tekken 7 and the Tekken series in general has a large and highly successful uh, video game developer and producer behind it, Namco Bandai, Tekken in the States is not really that popular, and Harada attributes this to being a very highly difficult game to um, to play. And it says right here, as Harada as a quote, in Tekken there's a surprising amount of things you got to learn, and we think that the problem for the beginners is they don't know which part to start learning from. This makes it confusing and, and defrays their focus. For, so for instance, in 2D fighting games, you could teach new players to use this move in this way and you'll be fine. This time around, we'd like to clearly convey that sort of instruction to the player. We feel that Tekken thus far, it's quite difficult for these players to tell the various professional moves apart in terms of how strong they are, and so this time we'd like to make that easier to observe. Yes, and the, you know, they say, as a way to make the game more accessible. There's another aspect bit to it, and if I talk about it now, laughs, <laughs> haha, there you go. We think that another key aspect to enjoying the game is to the utmost, is to be playing against opponents at the same level as you. So we were thinking, even in the arcade version of the game, would it be possible to implement a system that would allow players to easily find others at their level to play with? We're currently looking into it, so please look forward to hearing more about it in the future. Right. So that is very important, and that sounds like they are going to dumb down Tekken. Now when I say dumb down, it does sound negative, but you have to look at it from a realistic kind of standpoint. 
The thing is, is that Tekken is a very hard fighting game for most people. Some people, it's easier to pick up than others, but there are a lot of mechanics in Tekken that are kind of difficult to learn. Korean backdashing, you know, frames with punishing, tracking moves, holding moves, bound moves, walls, throws, throw breaks, you know, jabs, safe moves, 13 frame punishers, blah 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 punishers, like launcher, launch punishable, sweep, whatever, you know, matchups and spacing and all that and tag outs and especially the tag mechanic made things super confusing is that's basically what I mean Tekken is this really hard game to learn there's a lot of things you have to learn to be decent at Tekken and if you're not decent at Tekken you don't enjoy the game as in my opinion as long I mean as much as you could have because it is fun to mash in a fighting game that you don't know what they're doing with your friends but eventually that does get boring because you don't know what you're doing and eventually the game you know its shelf life kind of shortens because you don't know what to do with it beyond what you've all what you don't know. I mean, you know what I'm saying like you mash, and that's the only thing you can do. So once you get bored of mashing, well, you can't really play it anymore because that's like the only thing you can do in the game. So uh, Harada is trying to circumvent that and trying to get more people to you know be to learn the game easier by trying to implement some kind of um, official tutorial or a easier way of accessing the game. Or perhaps making the game a lot simpler in order to help players um, get to the you know status of being able to understand and play the game correctly. Now, there's also a part of the interview down here where it should say that I would further say, last, haha, one of the Tekken series unique features is wake up mechanic. I forgot about that. It's the Ogzemi is also really hard. A lot of people who don't know how to play Tekken just back roll when they get up, and it usually causes them to fall to their deaths because they keep getting reset into combos on people who do know what they're doing. And it's a complex system, blah 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 blah, and a lot of it's really hard for beginners, as it is. So they're going to um, try to make the wake up system, you know, like tech rolls and like Chinese get ups and get up kicks and you know, with wall standing moves and you know, rolling on the floor and tech rolling. They're going to try to make that all a lot simpler for players to understand, so they can not be flabbergasted by the uh, large amount of information that has to do with wake-ups and how confusing and how intimidating it could be. Also, is that when you look at this, this is very important right here, is Famitsu asks Famitsu, Famitsu asks Harada, when you say that you're going to make it more enjoyable for beginners, I'm sure that core fans will be worried that about if you main there won't be much death in the game for them to bite into. How do you plan on tackling that issue? Harada responds, we absolutely plan on implementing the level of depth fans have come to expect of the series. It's just that, for beginning players, if what their opponent is going to do too deep and profound for them to understand, that even if there is the depth, they won't be able to get into it. So, so I think we need some kind of mechanic that will ease players into the depth level by level. So in the beginning, even if you don't have to be too conscious of the game's mechanics to enjoy playing it. We, won't, we want to allow seasoned players to be able to start at the deep end. But at the same time, we want beginners just to be fine, not just using the advanced camp. That's what the balance is striving for. And pretty much they're saying that you'll hear more from Tekken 7 after or during Tokyo Game Show. Or before, whatever. Anyways, that is very important. So, obviously Harada understands, because he's been with the Tekken community a very long time. He knows, he knows the players in the US. He knows how we feel about the game, and generally how everybody feels about the game. There's no better man for the job of managing Tekken than Harada. Harada understands that. There is a risk to dumbing down the game where if you dumb it down too much, then it's not really Tekken anymore because Tekken is a game that's known for its high depth play, which makes it a very balanced game since the people who train the hardest usually do do the best because it's a game that rewards players for training because it's a highly de in depth game. Now, Harada sees the folly, I mean, the flaw in that system in that because it's so in depth and balanced. It causes people who do not have the strive or who are, you know, unable to learn the game as quickly to kind of fall behind and then they don't enjoy the game anymore because there's just too much stuff to learn and it's overwhelming. I went over this similarly in my uh, top 10 desired features for Tekken 7 and it seems that Harada did understand, not from me, but did understand that problem in that Tekken 7, I mean Tekken series in general, is just way too hard for a lot of, you know, newcomers to enjoy this series. Which is why I believe somewhere in the interview, let me see if I can find it, 
Yes, here we go. With the previous installment, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, there were a lot of players skipping over the title because it was difficult to learn to use two characters, that we imagine. So in contrast to the since Tekken 7 is a sequel in the mainland series, the expectation is for everyone to see it take back to its roots, back to the sort of Tekken that everyone is probably most familiar with. That's the vibe we're getting from our fans. Anyways, uh, pretty much is that the Tekken Tag Team was too hard for people to learn. Essentially, since Tekken is already such a hard game, and they nearly doubled the amount of characters from the main cast since you had clones, you had characters that didn't appear in the mainstream series like Jin, I mean, Jinpachi and Kunimitsu and um, Angel and you know Fourth Law and all that stuff. They, they are, there are more characters that normally aren't there, and it just became a lot of information to take, and, you know, as expected, there were a lot of people who wanted to learn the game because there was just too much stuff to learn. And the downside because of that was that Tekken Tag 2 didn't sell as well as it could have because it was just very intimidating to play. Which seems to be the main theme of this interview is that Harada plans to make the game more simple to get into. Whether that means actually dumbing down the mechanics of the game, at least outside of uh, Wake Up, because it seems that Harada is definitely going to look into designing the Wake Up system to be more simpler to understand. Maybe, you know, they're going to be more often tech roles, because I believe... Um, where is it? Where is that part? There we go. In other fighting games, when you get knocked down, there is a certain period of invulnerability that allows you to get back up on your feet simply. In the Tekken series, it's not that easy. The mechanic is actually quite complex. But because of that complexity, that's what makes it interesting and compelling to core pairs, even though beginning players have a hard time with it. So we're currently taking some effort to review the wake-up system quite extensively. We'd like to take a point where it's easy for light users to grasp, but still satisfying for core players. So without a doubt, they are going to look into changing the wake-up system. Now, Harada understands, like I mentioned earlier, that he wants to make it so the game is still satisfying to people like me, to people like, you know, JDCR, to people who like the depth in the in the game, the people who will enjoy Tekken because it's such a highly complex game. Um, but at the same time, he wants to make it so that it's not so complex that it's only pe for people. It's only for people who want to, you know be super extremely dedicated to the game because that's like kind of the point where it is now is that the people, only people who know how to play Tekken are usually really really dedicated to it. So Tarada here is going to find a middle ground here because he doesn't want to make it super dumbed down or super extreme because where it, is, where it is right now I would say it's kind of super extreme in like you know how hard it is to learn the game but not not obviously like impossible to learn whatever and so he wants to find the middle ground between easy and hard which is medium so he wants to i would say make the game easier to understand without heavily dumbing down mechanics although this is an interview early in production because we don't know actually how far they've gone in production with tekken 7 they could be already doing out beta testing or they could you know still be drawing up character models we don't know so that's that's pretty much it for you is that rod is trying to make the game easy for people to access without taking away the complexity that core fans have, lo have grown to love. This is a very difficult task, I think, to make it still complex while making it easy to access. I just hope that Harada will find a way, that the Tekken team will find a way to make the game easy to understand, even if it means dumb dumb mechanics because, you know, I would love to see Tekken become a more popular game, even if it means sacrificing a little bit of death. Hopefully not that much because I know Harada does not want to make the game super extremely simple like uh, Marvel, <coughs> Marvel, but um, yeah, that's what it is. He does not want to make it super simple so, so veterans get mad. But he doesn't like it, make it super hard so that it alienates new players. I'm repeating myself, so let's just be done with that. Um, and that is the core point of this interview, is that Harada is trying to find the middle ground between balance, between making it complex and depth, and having a lot of depth, and making it easier for people to enter this series. I definitely see them dumbing down the game, but I don't see them heavily dumbing down the game. I'm kind of happy that they are, because people will start to play the game more because it's not as intimidating. I know everybody won't be happy with it, but, you know, it is a relief when you think about it that you don't have to learn as many mechanics. Although, I don't think they're going to do a total overhaul of dumbing the game down. I don't think that's Harada's vision. I think they are going to make it simpler, 
if even if they don't make it, they don't dumb it down, they are definitely going to include a more extensive tutorial system, if anything, or a more detailed training mode command list, because I believe someone in the interview, he said that in this game, it's kind of difficult to understand which moves are the good moves and what purpose some good moves have. For example, you don't have the frame data available to you, so you're not going to know that Law's forward 1 plus 2 is a, pl one plus, is a plus 1 move that puts you in the full crouch, so if, they, if the opponent presses a button, you could do wall standing 4-3, and then you could get a launch. It's like a risky counter hit setup. But normal players are not going to know that, and they're just going to see forward 1 plus 2 as this slow mid punch that has no range, and it's like, why why would I use that? That seems so like a... It's like a whatever move, I don't understand, why, why does it put me in full crouch, like why why would you do that? So I definitely see them trying to make it more obvious which moves are the good moves, and I hope also they're going to clean up character move lists along the way, get rid of really, really, uh, um, like, situational moves, and make it more, a lot of more useful moves in general, much like how 2D fighting games have very small move lists, and usually those moves consist of all those moves are usually very useful, usually. So I definitely see them cleaning up move lists and making it a lot easier to understand the game. Whether that means something on the game or just making a lot of, you know, in-game tutorials to make the game easier to understand, I don't know. I see them dumbing it down, but not too much. And I see them putting a tutorial system in the game. Other than the mechanics, I do see that this game is going to be heavily storyline based, and it's the final battle for the Mishima storyline, which does, which of course, if Tekken 7 is a success, which I believe it will be, I mean, it's the newest Tekken in a, in a while, and um, people were pretty hyped for it at EVO and at San Diego Comic Con, so I do see that the game will continue to a Tekken 8, and if Tekken 8, you know, if this is the final conclusion of the Mishima storyline, then in Tekken 8, I know that's probably like 5-6 years from now, we're definitely going to see a different kind of storyline. And if this is the last Tekken, well maybe they'll announce a new fighting game. But anyways, we'll just have to see what happens after or before Tokyo Game Show as it says down here. Um, some people I know are not going to be happy that they're making the game simpler, but I for one I think that if the game, if simplifying the game makes makes it so that more people will be able to play it and more people will have fun with it, then I'm all for it. But of course, I don't want to see the game dumbed down too much because I don't think I would be able to enjoy it anymore if it was just a super simple fighter. I know I sympathize with a lot of people that don't want to dumb down the game, where it's like, oh well, stop appealing to the casuals who don't want to learn the game. That's their problem, you know. Just just keep it how it is because. Tekken is cool being super complex, but then I feel it's like a really elitist attitude. Although I feel I see the logic in that is like you should reward people for putting time and effort to learn the game so they could stay ahead of everybody who doesn't want to. So but I don't see that's what Harada is doing. Harada is making it so that it's easier to access the advanced plays, the advanced mechanics, easier to understand, easier to begin start and easy to begin to learn how to play the game rather than dumbing down the overall mechanics of the game so that everybody who like plays it for five minutes is instantly a master. I don't see that happening. I see it as the game is just going to be easier to access. Even maybe a little bit some mechanics like the wake up system like Harada mentioned will be a little bit nerfed in how complex it is. But I don't see them making it super super easy because I don't think that's Harada's vision. And before I repeat myself more, I guess that's all I have to say. We'll see what happens down the line. And besides this interview, I did see a source somewhere that did say that Tekken 7 is planned for 2014, which is a bit risky in my opinion since it was only announced this year, not mentioned halfway through the year. So I'm kind of worried that they're not going to put enough time into testing it and you know, patching it and all that. I want to see it in early 2015. I mean, the faster it comes, I mean, that's cool. But I would like them to work on this game as long as they need, because then you have games like I don't know what's a game that came out too early, like like Knights of the Old Republic 2, long time ago, I know. But that game was not polished when it was released. It was forced on a Christmas release, and then the game could have been a lot better than it already was. And I want to see it so that when they come out, they will have it completely polished 
and they're satisfied when it's released, not just rushing it for the Christmas release. Oh, before one one more thing, is that they did say here, I forgot to mention this, is that they want to make a system where you're going to find other players to play with your same skill level, which could mean that they are going to revamp how they do online matchmaking. Now, currently, an online system hasn't been since Tekken 5, I believe, or Tekken 6 only, where online has been you match with players on your rank level. Now, rank has not always associated with skill level. Now, as I always see it, people from blue and down don't know how to play the game. Um, people from green, people from green rank know combos, but they don't understand neutral and they don't understand matchups. People from yellow understand better neutral and better optimized combos. People from orange understand movement better, and people from red are hardcore competitive players. Well, not always hardcore, but they're definitely like very, very knowledgeable about the game. And red and up is basically the same thing. They're just varying levels of how good you are. Um, but so they're, I think they might scrap that system altogether and make it more like how they're going to match players based on, I don't know, maybe based on how you play. Maybe if somebody has like like a history of only using certain moves and their their playstyle is very wild and mashy, maybe they're gonna match you with other mashy players. I don't know how they will be able to analyze that, but maybe they will. That's how you match players. That's how you match with other players because I don't. I think they are going to change how matchmaking works in online and in the arcade, I guess. But that's not really relevant to me since I'm not gonna be able to play an arcade version living in the United States, especially New Jersey. So, we'll just have to see how it progresses from there. Um, but that's been, that's been me. This has been Pepper Too Spicy. Um, I think that's all I have to say about this interview. I am excited to hear more about Tekken 7. So, stay tuned until Tokyo Game Show, where we will definitely hear more about the series. And we'll just have to see um, what happens. So, in general... The game is going to be a lot simpler to understand. Whether that means dumbing down the game or making it easier to access, we don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. That's what I'm seeing. A little bit of both. They are definitely not going to super simplify the game for casuals. That's for sure. Then the wake-up system, the Okazemi system, is going to be simplified, apparently, according to Harada. And there is going to be a new matchmaking system, apparently. And the game is going to be heavily emphasized on story for the Mishimas, at least. We don't know about the other characters. Maybe the other characters will have a bigger role in the storyline. Maybe it's just going to be Mishima-centric, and all the other characters are going to get the same kind of, you know, so-so endings and storylines um, have they have always gotten, you know, because everybody who's not related to the Mishima storyline kind of gets, like, whatever part in the story. Except for, like, Lei, who I think was kind of relevant in Tekken 6. But, anyways... That's been I'm Pepper Too Spicy. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll bring you more Tekken Seven if you stay tuned. So like, comment, subscribe, all those whatever shenanigans. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Yeah.